Okay, welcome back everyone. We're going to do the feather swipe negative space today. We're just going to get started. I prep my canvas by just drawing a line like this from side to side and then small side, large side. We've got a leading edge and the fall edge. Okay, so the first thing I do is Get my white paint in the squeeze bottle and go around the outside. All these lines are going to be swiped out. So you want to be gentle, but we're going to do all the negative space first. don't have my pick. That is horrible. <laughs> okay. I want a real smooth white space, so I'm just going to help it along and pour it out. Just like that. Some of the pencils come up. I really don't have that problem when I use the carbon paper. Purples, some pinks, some things I had left over from the beetles. I'm going to do a leaf with the blues, greens, and a metallic metal color. And so I'm going to use all the pinks and things for the feather today. Just want a real smooth surface. Since I don't have my pick, this is super messy. <laughs> Shouldn't have gotten a hurry. Okay. Well, the line's basically gone, but I kind of know where it is, so we're going to go with that. Let's start with a dark color. Not metallic. I'm going to start with this hot pink so we can see it. I'm going to just go back and forth where... metallic. 
Just kind of fill it in the middle. Go on both sides. There we go. Little pop color. That's probably enough. This doesn't have as much paint on it as when you just pour out paint out of a, you know, cup. So, now I'm going to take my white and go right over the center. Just like that. Got my bamboo skewer, my palette knife bowl of water, and something to wipe my swipe clean. Okay. I'm gonna take my bamboo stick and go up a little bit. Just kind of define my line a little bit. Okay, here we go. So you're going in an S shape. I'm gonna put it down just by the edge. I'm gonna get it wet. the excess. Get my towel ready. Okay, here we go. So you take the edge, not the whole thing, not flat. You're just kind of spreading the icing. You'll want to push forward, out, and up. Like that. And swipe. Get a little more water. Coming around, making sure not to get in there. You're going to push up. Out and like that, and wipe. It's already starting to fill up. Really cute. Okay, here we go again. Side, push up and out and in, like a S kind of. I'm gonna to try to go up in here and make this the edge skinnier as we go. It's, it's gonna take a while, it gets a little rough sometimes, but you just gotta work it out. So here we go, up, out, and up. Some beautiful things going on in the palette knife. And up, out, and up. Stuff like this happens or we don't get it worked out, we can always cover it with white paint. So we're going to do this side. Okay, start down here, just get a little more paint to the side. This side you want a little smaller, this one we can go wider in a minute. So here we go, smaller, up, out. Mm -hmm. Up, out, and up. This side's always harder than this side. This side you can wing out. This side, you gotta stay tight. Okay. Up, out, and up. Are all leftover paints and they are really looking good. Up, out, and up. Ooh. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll come down here and give this a push. Like that. Okay. So now I want to take what I want for the main color. Probably something dark. I like the purple that is going on, so I'm going to use this purple metallic. And I'm going to dip it in there, the bottom of the skewer, not the pointy end. And I'm going to take it all the way down here, drag it up. Boom. 
There's the start of the stem. You start to get these beautiful little cells. Super cute. Okay, so I'm going to define this ghost-like fluffy stuff at the end. And I'm going to take the tiny end. Get you a little bit of paint. I want to come out to here, maybe. See what happens. Maybe come out like that. Wipe it off. Get you some more. Get another spot. Just like that. If you see something weird going on or something you don't want to mess up, you know, kind of avoid theirs. You can see where your S's are, where the white kind of goes like that. I'm going to come in right underneath those. Like that. Here's another one. Okay, well that was done. That should have came in smaller. I'm going to delete all that. We'll see. I don't know. Sometimes when the paint drops get on there, it all looks like you dipped your feather in paint and threw it on the board or something. So I'm going to do this side and work it out for a minute. I'm wanting to go smaller on this side. Start down here. You can see I got a lot of dimethicone in uh, my colors because they are just really getting after it with the cells. More than what I usually have. So it's kind of strange. This one is super skinny for some reason. I didn't. I might re-swipe it. Sometimes I do that. Same way with the swipe is the same with this bamboo stick. You're pushing it in that S motion. Okay. I want this to come out here and come in. And I want this to come here and up like that. not too bad. I'm missing color here. So I'm going to swipe right there. First I'm going to drop a little bit of color on there. that excess off and swipe this right here and try to go out a little bit further. That was nice. It's not quite as white as I wanted it, so I'm going to go at it again. Pushing some white in there. That's not too bad. It has no curve to it. Really don't like that. Maybe I can get this further out. Might be more paint on this side. And this can be our wider edge.
So, just to come around here. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Okay, I'm going to go back to my dark. Dip the rear end of it. Flat end back here. Go back up. And you do this in here, I like to come to a point like this. And then make a circle like this. And you want to drag this to this point. I only touched it right there. Blah. Like that. I think that's pretty good. I said these don't take as long to dry. I think the colors are gorgeous. I'm so glad I did this. I haven't done a purple one. I like the little punches of green here and there. Uh, super girly. They all turn out different. Different day, a different way. But they're pretty. And you just got to keep after it and you'll get it. Y'all have a good one.